Back for another edition of Hawaii's Kitchen here at Chef Zone, and we are with Orchid's Restaurant at Halekulani, and we're with the guy who speaks wonderful Italian. I Chef, think. thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chef, Chef for Christian. inviting me. Uh, what are we making today, Chef Christian? Okay, today I will present the uh, amache crudo. It's a simple plate, but it's very uh, flavoring. It's mm -hmm. uh, one day plate that represents the Orchid's uh, restaurant. Okay. What you mean is uh, basically what we're doing is just uh, give uh, a lot of flavor to the principal ingredients, the, the plate. In this case, is a damachi. Okay. And, well, uh, that's like my good. second favorite Absolutely. fish. I yeah. love hamachi, by the way. Good, good choice, good <laughs> choice. And uh, basically, what uh, I try to represent uh, in uh, my concept, the, the cuisine uh, is uh, taking care of the health part of the, our customer. Okay. So we have to work with a low salt, uh, uh, Mediterranean influence, it's me, it's me more the diet, uh, I create uh, like a cucumber, watermelon, uh, amachi, very simple but very, very flavoring. And I noticed that you've, are, you've, you've got a few things here, the lemon, the orange, the lime. Is there anything on the fruit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've already put something on the fruit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What did what did you what did you put on those already? Okay. The, the orange segment, the watermelon and uh, cucumber press. It's mean uh, what are we doing? Like uh, osmosis effect. Mm -hmm. It's mean uh, we take out the air from the the veggie and the fruit, and we put it inside in, uh, inside something for give more flavoring. Ah. In this case, I marinated the watermelon press with the radish and the jalapeno. And uh, I take out with the vacuum uh, the the air I put inside the the flavor I want Ooh, to okay. show to my my, my guest. In the same, the cucumber, what I do, I peel the cucumber, I blend the cucumber, and put it back in the in the vacuum bag for give the exactly the color okay. and uh, give uh, like uh, the crunch crunch uh, part of the dish. Okay, so what do we have to do first to get this thing started? Okay, first of all, we have the amache loin. What we have to do and just marinate a little bit with the orange zest, lemon zest. How, how long have you been there at Halekulani? Almost five years. Almost five years. Are, was there anything that you changed or did differently when you, when you took over, when you came in? Yeah, no, definitely. I need uh, pretty much is uh, I, I come for the new concept, the Mediterranean Italian cuisine. Okay, but the, my first goal it was uh, to see what Hawaiian offer. Mm. Honestly, I find everything. The ocean yeah. they give me a lot, a lot of solution in my concept. What I needed just to do is just a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit uh, mm -hmm. challenge because I, I deal with the guests that they come. 30 years the same place okay they want uh, just one concept but uh, I think so okay, people okay. now uh, they appreciate what we're doing uh, it is uh, the most important part so after that uh, lemon a little bit more some chives chives okay Hawaiian salt little bit of olive oil okay extra virgin, vivo, and this is the first part. The okay. second part, we just go to marinate all of the ingredients and uh, assemble the, pl the plate. Perfect, and we're gonna do all that when we come back here in Hawaii's Kitchen. We're with Holly Kalani and Orchid's Restaurant. Chef Christian is gonna be plating up all the pretty stuff in just a bit. Thank you. Here we go. Right? Look at that, though. He, he's so good, and it was just fun to be able to stand next to him as he's describing things, because I love his accent, first of all. Yeah. Uh, and second of all, he's just very knowledgeable, and uh, yes, that looks very good. We'll I be, know. We'll, we'll have more in just a bit. It's hard to, like, contain yourself <laughs> to not try something when they're cooking next to you. Right? Oh, no, yeah, because uh, as a chef... You want to be able to try stuff as, yeah. as you're going, right? But he's making yeah. it look pretty, and I just and I hate di like digging into it while he's doing it. Yeah. So I I refrained. I'll be like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Chef 
Chef Zone, the home of Hawaii's Kitchen, and we're here with Halikolani and Orchids Restaurant. Chef Christian is uh, making a fish dish for us. The name of this dish is? A matcha crudo with the orange segment, uh, watermelon, and cucumber press. We put some zest on the fish. Uh, we've got a little bit of olive oil on it. And now you're going to finish up by putting everything else in the bowl, yes? Definitely. OK. See asparagus. From Kahuku. While you're doing that, I just want to say, your New York accent is super thick. <laughs> Where exactly are you from? A uh, little bit across the street at the <laughs> Central Park. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. <laughs> Originally from, where are you from? I'm from Genova, okay. born and raised in Rapallo, okay, so near to Portofino. And as a chef, you've made a few stops before making your way here to Hawaii. Yes, I work a little bit. I work in a, in a, in a Europe, in a Genova, in a Portofino. I work around the world in a Bermuda Island, in a Mexico City, Guadalajara, Puerto Vallarta. What brought you to Hawaii? Mi Miami. Miami too. And, and I come from here for Alipulani. You came direct, here specifically. Direct to the point of the Alipulani. That's how, that's how you do it. You bring good chefs to a good place, and uh, he makes good food. I think so. Okay, all the element is ready. And now we just started to set up the plate. Now you're going to pretty it up, yeah? I will try. This would be, how many, how many uh, pieces of fish would be on a normal serving? Between uh, four and five. Okay. I try all the time five, because uh, people, they have to be happy what they do what they're eating. OK. You cube those up really nice, the watermelon. It actually looks like poke. It looks like, like a really nice piece yeah, yeah. of ahi, but it's, it's watermelon. Actually, many people ask me, why you put <laughs> a, a tuna? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Very nice. OK. Some pea shoot. Wow, OK, that's looking really good, chef. Voila. It is, a, it is our dish in our kids. Very, very nice. OK, we're going to set that aside, and we're going to get ready for dish number two. Chef, what's the name of the second dish we're making? OK, we have the lasagnette, which is the fresh pasta homemade with uh, uh, cauco shrimps, uh, fresh scallops, and the avocado. OK, you've got to make your own pasta, right? No, definitely, definitely. Okay. No, cho right. no, no choice is okay. uh, the rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get started then. OK. A little bit of olive oil. OK. Oil of Earl. Onion. OK. Shallot. So you do both, onions both. and shallots. OK. And, and garlic. Of course you're going to have garlic. You come up with this dish? You, you yourself? Yes, this? yes. Long time ago, when I, uh, I tried to marry it uh, with a Mexico and Italian, because I work in Mexico, and uh, some recipe, the, of course, the, my grandma. Family yeah. secrets. Of course. You can tell me, though, fellow Italian, you can tell me. When you come in Orchids, I to try. OK, all right, there you go. I, the that is a deal. deal. I the, like that deal. OK. Scallops. Scallops. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into this, huh? Definitely. People, they have to be very, very happy. Well, why don't we tell everybody what that is? This is a fresh scallops. Fresh scallops. Yeah, I use a two cut, one for the sauce, one for the presentation, okay. presentation too. Cuckoo shrimp. Little bit of spicy. Just a little bit. Now, I noticed you didn't put that on the food. You put that in the pan. Not in the pants, because they, Just have to the give, pan. they have to give the flavor to the oil. Very nice. OK. Pinch of salt. Two pinches of salt. OK. And? Oh, oh fermo tomato. OK. This is a quick dish. Quick dish. Popular dish. 
popular dish. We do a a la minute, and now we're just waiting for cooking. Okay. Well, while that's cooking up, we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking to the Orchids manager, Louis, and uh, Chef, we're going to plate up this delicious smelling dish, yes? Yes. Perfect. Of course. We'll be back with more in Hawaii's Kitchen. Don't you just love to see all the stuff that he makes? I do. Um, this is kind of a side note, but that's a nice bowl. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Here's, a, here's another side note. If anybody knows how to, to make an iPad stop going to sleep, let me know. I know how. You don't. Get up! That's you, how you, do. you really don't. I couldn't find, <laughs> it, I couldn't find it in the settings. Uh, okay. At Chef Sonner with Orchid's Restaurant at Holly Polani. Chef Christian has just been making something that smells so delicious uh, and wonderful. And we're going to bring in Louis Barnett, the uh, Orchid's manager. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, John. Chef, this smells really, really good. You have to taste it. I, I can't wait to taste it, as a matter <laughs> of fact. Um, I'll I let got, you do your thing. I'm going to talk I to Louis here for a minute. You guys reopened early October, October 1st. Isn't October that 1st, just last week. Yes, sir. That, uh, uh, that must have made a lot of people happy. It did. A lot of happy return guests, uh, both local guests and, you know, visitors from the mainland. We had a wonderful weekend, and we're just excited to be reopened. Got the family back to work, and uh, wonderful to see all the smiley smiles on the faces. There's a word that I want to ask you what it is, and I'm not sure that I'll pronounce it correctly. Catalaya? Catalia? Catalia. What is that? It's an orchid. So if kind of famous for the, the pool at Holly Clowney with the okay. tile, the one million tiles in there with the yes. orchid in there. It's Catalia, but the way it's we pronounce it is Catalia. Okay. And we also have an area in the middle of orchids up in the top tier, which we have a, a, a casual wine bar. You can come up and have some uh, tapas or poo-poos and a um, nice assortment of wines by the glass. We, we kind of feature Spanish, Italian, so, you know, just a Mediterranean blend of wines, white and red. Reds are lighter, have a slight coolness to the temperature for them, so they uh, complement Chef Testa's uh, hors d'oeuvres or poo-poos or mm -hmm. tapas, whatever you want to call them. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful spot. And Chef, is this mm. the final product? It is the final. You're getting all the goodies, though, huh? You're getting all those aromas right there, John. That must yeah, be... I mean, I'm standing in the steam yeah. for a reason. It's, it's, it, not only does it feel good, but it smells delicious. <laughs> just the right amount of garlic. Not right? too much. It doesn't overpower the dish. It's just added, added influence. Now, I know that you added the avocado in there. Avocado. Pasta. Anything else that I might have missed while uh, we were in break? Just Little... one. Okay. Love. Love, passion. And orchids. Yeah. Well, that's more like three. You said love, yeah. passion, and orchids, but I know you mean that yeah, almost in the same. Yes. Exactly. You know, and there might be a misnomer. Orchids is not an Italian restaurant. Okay. It's Mediterranean influence. So it's a blend with Italian okay. and then other areas. And Hawaii's climate is pretty much a Mediterranean climate with all the fresh seafoods available we have. So Chef Testa's food is just a perfect choice. Put you on the spot. What do you think of this guy? He's awesome. Let me ask you this. What is house without a key? Basically, it goes back to the 30s. There was a Charlie Chan novel, a house without a key, and there was a, it was a mystery novel, and it involved the Holly Clowney property, and there was an area on there where they would gather, and there wasn't a lot. You know, it's always been a, a gathering place in Waikiki, and an um, open-air restaurant. We just, uh, it's been renovating for the, for the past six months or so, and it's gonna be, actually, it opens tomorrow, yesterday. Let's talk about the drinks, too, real quick, because yeah, so uh, you also have that. Catalea Wine Bar is, you know, right up in the center of Orchids, like we mentioned earlier. So we try to focus on some different wines, that, you know, things that go with our cuisine. We have some, I brought in today, we have, you know, Spanish white wine, Godello. We have a nice uh, Vermentino. Something special about that. Yeah, it's kind of in this guy's backyard. Aha. Uh -huh. 45 yeah, minutes from my house. 45 minutes. Yeah. So we <laughs> A little longer drive now, but he's, when he lived... he's been making good food and having good drinks all his life. He's sitting in the right <laughs> spot. Another one of Chef's favorites from when he was home is Don Milano. Nice. And it, it's from Lang. Lang, Lang. Le, de Le Lange yeah. is uh, near uh, Barolo. It's a very particular wine that I really love it to, off, to offer for uh, our pupu in uh, Catalia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so just wonderful stuff. Come on by. 
any other information that we can get? Uh, where can we go? Is there a website for orchids? It, so it's on the Holly Kalani website, okay. and it features all of our, our restaurants, La Mer, Orchids, House Without a Key, also Lures Lounge, our okay. late night uh, jazz lounge, and Catalea Wine Bar. So. And any changes that happen as we are uh, undergoing changes daily here, uh, I guess those would be available on the website. Yes. And we'll make that available on our website shortly after the show, kh12.com. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Our pleasure. Thank All you, right. John. Thank you so much. I'm going to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we but we're going to send it back to the studio while I eat it, so I don't make anybody too jealous. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, John. I'm officially jealous. Ah, I knew it. See, that's why I'm not eating it. That's yeah. why you don't see me eating it. Well, I was going to say, how do you eat something like that presented so nicely to you? Really easy. Right? It's really not that hard. Right? <laughs>